Hello students, welcome back to Database Management System Lab. This is Professor Aruna Devi from Dhanam Sagar College, Bangalore. In this session, we are going to cover the various topics like simple queries, simple queries with aggregate function, query with aggregate function like group by and having clause. So the fourth query or fourth program which is in the lab session is for a given set of relational schema that is a schema is given you need to create table and perform the following. So every particular table should be created and values should be inserted in it and then only you can perform all the various queries on it. So simple queries, simple query with aggregate function so various aggregate functions are there those aggregate functions are going to be executed then queries with aggregate function using group by and having clause. So now here we'll take an example of creating a table called employee. So the employee table is created using the query called create table employee with all the attributes or the fields which you say SSN number and it's of data type with where care to and it is this SSN number has been defined as a primary key. Then also we'll have F name that is where care to then middle initial last name birth date address and so on the fields are specified. Also you have a department number which is reference to department. So the department table is should be created and also we have a reference to it with where you are referring to department number. So this becomes a foreign key and SSN number becomes a primary key. The next query is a simple query which you have to execute. So this all uh, the query says that you need to select employees. So you use the query called select star from employees. So there's an, uh, employee details how many ever records are there in your table all that will be displayed and you can see how the number of uh, records and their data. The next question says or the next query says retrieve employee number and their salary. So I want to retrieve the employee number and their respective salary. So I'm going to use a select query with uh, the SSN number that is the employee number and the salary which has been specified from the employee table. So the query says select SSN salary from employee. The next query says retrieve average salary. So aggregate functions are where you can find the average, maximum, minimum, count, all that comes into aggregate function. So this is one of the query. Retrieve average salary of employees. So you are going to use the select query because I need to retrieve the data from the database. So select query is the one which you have to use and the aggregate function that is average salary you have to find out. So average of what the data of uh, the attribute which is available is salary so the salary detail is going to find out the average of it from the table employee the next comes retrieve number of employee so i need to find out how many employees are working and how many employees are there in the employee table so i'm going to use a select query the aggregate function is called count of star that means all the employees who are in that particular database should be count so count of search so gives you the number of employees in that particular table from employee table then the next query says retrieve distinct number of employees so select count distinct means what it is not going to give you the repeated names again so it is going to be unique so distinct f name from employee so it is going to give the employee name with distinct so repeated names will not be displayed there then retrieve total salary the next query is retrieve total salary of employee grouping by employee name and count similar names so you're grouping according to the employee name and you're going to specify the count so select f name sum of salary i'm getting this in that group we are going to take the salary count how many people are there so from which particular table employee table and you're saying group by f name so you're grouping all that with the f name Next query is retrieve total salary of employee which is greater than 12, 1,20,000. So you are going to say select F name, sum salary 
from that is you are going to see that the total salary not a person's individual person salary it's total salary of employee which is greater than 120000 so select f name sum of salary you are taking from employee group by f name having sum of salary greater than 120000 so that's the query so retrieve total salary of employee so you are selecting the name then the next query is display name of employee in descending order so select f name from employee order by f name you are going to have it in a descending order so you are selecting the f name from the table employee and you specify order by order by the names which you have in the order of descending order okay now let us see how to execute the query in the sql so first thing is you have to open the uh, sql command line and then you have to click uh, type connect and it'll ask you for the uh, username you have to type system then the password admin so now it shows you it is connected now let us uh, uh, use I mean perform the query so first query says you have to create a table so in the previous sessions we have already created a table called employee with all the attributes now let us perform all the queries which is required so first query says select employee so you need to select star from employee and enter so all the records which are available in the employee table is being displayed the next query says you have to retrieve the next query says retrieve employee number and their salary so we should not use select star we should specifically uh, I mean retrieve only the employee number and their salary so you have to write select SSN because the employee number is SSN and then you have the salary let's say salary and you are going to find out from which table so you have to write from employee table so employee and you enter you get only the SSN number and the salary in the previous query all the details whatever fields attributes are available in the employee table everything is displayed here with their first name, middle name, salary, gender, birth, date of birth, address, every information, which department. The next query is what? Retrieve employee number and its salary. So only the number and the salary is what you want to retrieve from the table employee. So you use this query. The next query says retrieve average salary. The aggregate function which you are going to use is average. So how are you going to use? You are going to use the select query. So AVG is the keyword for average on what you want to find out on the salary i want to find out so average of salary and from which table it is from employee employee table so now you find the salary of all the particular employees it's finding the average of it and giving us a single record so average of all the salary is being calculated and it is showing you the output the next query says you need to retrieve number of employees so i want to find out how many employees are working uh, in that particular um, department or you can say that i just want to know how many employees are in the employee table so you use the keyword called count star that means it will find out all the employees number count and give you the value so now here when we click on enter your value is 5 that is 5 records are there in the employee table so that's the um, details or that is the query which you have executed so next query says retrieve distinct number of employees so distinct number of employees so you use the query called select count you are using a distinct distinct f name from employee so now what happens employee so select count distinct f name that is the first name should be distinct it should not repeat so if there is a repeated value of employee name f name then it is not going to count that it will only count once so here 
we don't have any uh, repeater f names in the employee table so what happens it is showing count 5 if not what will happen it will show uh, I mean the number of count will might be varying from the different if there is a uh, same f name the next query says You have to retrieve total salary of employee and you have to group using group by employee name and count similar names. So what is the query? Select F name sum of salary and then also you need to count how many are there. Then specify the keyword from employee and you are going to group it with that is group by F name. F name. So you get the sum of the salary and the count how many count it is because it is the, uh, the total salary of employee is grouped by the employee name. And if there are same names, then it will be grouped in it. So that is one of the query. The next one is retrieve total salary of employee, which is greater than 12 lakhs. Let us say 12 lakhs. So select F name, sum of salary from employee group by you're grouping it by f name and you're going to say have wing the sum of salary should be greater than 12000 let us make 12000 so what happens here you have to retrieve the total salary of the employee and also you should see to that which is greater than the particular amount which you are specifying. So we let us see how many records will be. So if you say 12,000 all the five records are displaying. So if I am going to say the same query and if I am going to say greater than that is sum of salary. The sum of the salary is what? Overall value. So if I am going to say greater than 12 lakhs then there should not be I mean the records are not displayed because the sum of that salary is not going more than the required uh, amount. That is sum of salary is not more than the actual salary of the employee. Then display name of employee in descending order. So select F name from employee order by F name. It is in the order of descending. So you are finding the F name, ordering it by descending order. So ascending order is by default. If I want to assign or say order it in a particular format, sort it in a particular format of descending, then you have to specifically use the keyword DESC. So you get the values or the F names in the descending order. Thank you for watching. See you in the next session and happy learning.